still with their uh, rock, uh, kind of punkish, uh, with uh, amusing lyrics. The lyrics are on the comical side. The song they have out that I really like is called The Slip of the Nip. Hey, we got, uh, I think we got the band, uh, speaking of wolves, I believe it's um, Steel Wolf uh, on the line here at the Crazy Joe. Steel Wolf, is that you? Yeah, this is Mark from Steel Wolf. Oh, my God. It's Steel Wolf in the house, everybody. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. All the way. He's on. Okay. I'm sorry. Do you mind bad language? Because, you know, the Crazy Joe show here, our motto is the more we offend you, the better we feel about ourselves. Right. I noticed that. Uh, I saw that, that tagline on your website, and I've listened to a few of the shows now, and I, I have no problem with it. Right, right, right. Well, you know, I mean, I mean, I'm mean, i just an angry guy, you know? I mean, you could actually tell. And a lot of people say I he's kind of... He's angry because he's old. Shut up, stupid. <laughs> Hold on a second. He can't be much older than me. No, no, don't, I think, don't. I think he's angry because he never gets to see Steel Wolf live. Well, we're, we're playing uh, on August, April 18th at uh, Hail Hail, which is 249 Varrett Street in Brooklyn. Oh, in Brooklyn. Wow. That's Williamsburg, yeah. right? Yeah, Williamsburg, yes. Right. Brooklyn, eh? Hey. All right, Steel. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I keep calling you Steel. Uh, what's your first name? My first name is Mark. Now, listen, you're on Facebook, right? Yes, yes, we're on Facebook, yes. And you also, do you also have your own website? Yes, it's uh, www.steelwolfband.com. So it's just S T W E L W O L F B A N D dot com. So how long you guys have been uh, doing this uh, rock and roll adventure trip, and uh, how long has the band been together, and who are the members of the band? Basically, uh, have you guys been together for five years, three years? How did you guys form, and uh, what's the basis of... Uh, of, of Steel Wolf. If you could answer all those questions in about two seconds, then... Uh, okay, I'm, I'm only kidding. In 1982. We've been uh, more or less the same lineup ever since, but we've had lots of changes along the way. I mean, in a 30-year period, there's been changes along the way, many. But the current lineup is four guys, and uh, like the, the, the guy I started the band with is still in the band. His name is Ed Kazis. He plays bass now, and uh, his brother plays drums. I do the vocals, and uh, there's a, a guitarist named uh, Mike Jalan. Uh, there was a guitarist recently named Paul Doronis who, uh, he, he, he was in the band for a while. He kind of took a break now, but I think he's coming back uh, at some point this year, so we might return to being a five-piece, but uh, currently we're playing as a quartet. Very good. Very good. No, I was only kidding when I said two seconds. Please, don't ever take me literally. Okay. Um, but, but I tell you, you do a great job, man. You are very talented. You should be, uh, you should be doing commercials and talking real fast. You know, all right, I want to sell you this car right now. Do I get 25? Do I get 25? Do I get 25? Do I get 25? Do I get you're very talented. Thank you. I'm, a, I'm an English teacher. That's my day job. So I do have to communicate quite a bit all day long to, uh, yeah. you know, 18, 18 year olds and 17 year olds uh, about English literature. So yeah. now you guys are all from my beloved Long Island, right? Uh, more or less, yeah, Queens, Long Island area, yes. Oh, okay. Now, uh, are you guys in Suffolk County or Nassau County as far as no, Long no, Island? Na I'm in Nassau. I'm in Floral Park. Oh, that's very close to New York. I love Floral Park. I wish I could live there. And uh, and uh, the other guys are in Nassau, so, I mean, you, you don't have guys far away. You have them in nearby Nassau. And then what part of Queens, like uh, Bell Rose? Bayside. Area? Bayside, yeah. Bayside and Richmond, uh, Kew Gardens area. Yep, I love those areas. No, the reason I answer is because I used to live out there, man. You know, I lived in... Uh, uh, where did I live? On LIE and um, and um, and Clearview Expressway, uh, uh, Oakland Gardens. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm actually I, I teach not too far from. I teach at Edison High School. Yeah, yeah. So let me ask you a question. You say you uh, you got this gig coming up in Brooklyn. How is the Brooklyn scene? Uh, how many times have you played in the Brooklyn area? And uh, I mean, uh, and also, what is the scene like throughout the tri-state area, just for rock and roll or for the type of? I mean, what kind of your your style is punk, right? Uh, punk. I would say the band. Uh, if you want to, it's like more like a Motorhead punk style. Okay. We're not punk in the. I mean, we have songs that kind of go Bad Religion or Sex Pistols, but I would say more in the vein of Motorhead, which would lean towards metal. It's kind of like right in that crosshairs between metal and punk. I see. 
Very good. Very good. And how's the Brooklyn scene down? Have you been playing a lot of gigs in Brooklyn? Have you been well, playing we, gigs? Uh, in- we've, we've done, uh, we uh, for years we did the mm-hmm. um, the New York City Marathon in Brooklyn uh, at the corner of 4th Avenue and uh, Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn. We played Hail Hail. We played Crezzo, which uh, they, cl- they closed down. They were in the Williamsburg. Uh, it's a good scene. I mean, definitely it's all the hipsters and stuff, and the hipsters definitely... Uh, like us and get into us, so uh, we. Wow. That's why. I mean, this 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 gig is a return gig for us. They as soon as we played in December, and they asked us right back because it was so successful. And uh, so uh, this is where uh, we. It seems that we we seem to grab it. Uh, the energy there seems to uh, uh, work work well with our kind of music. Now let me ask you: Have you played on the island and and in Manhattan also, and maybe yes, Jersey? Yes, of course. Yeah, we played uh, we. Uh, Manhattan, uh, we we played CBs before it closed uh, twice, and uh, uh, Continental. Um, I'm just um, thinking of other places. Uh, Spiral Lounge, but that closed uh, already. Um, right. right. Uh, in Long Island, uh, Doctor Shay's Dublin Pub. Um, oh, Malone, yeah. I remember the Dublin Pub. Yeah. If, if these places, uh, if you know these places, uh, Dublin is very yeah. That uh, are they still around? By the way, since I haven't been uh, in the I area, Dublin Pub has since closed. Oh, okay. I think all these places I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning closed, and and has direct relation to us playing there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Right on. Right on. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is, uh, you know, I just wanted to get to know you a little bit. And by the way, you yeah. sound like a very, um, like a very handsome man. What are you about six foot two, six foot three, and you look like George Clooney? Uh, if 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 you if you wish me to be, uh, yeah, certainly. Are you looking at a picture? me by chance? Uh, no, I don't even know how you look like, but I, 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 okay. I, I got this, uh, 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 you know, I'm drawing an image from your, 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 your voice. It's so, so macho, so manly. Like you, oh, like you have, like, you can, you can go, I think there's a picture of us on our website or, uh, okay. we have a Wikipedia page. You can check that out too. Uh, yeah. so there's a picture of us there. Yeah. I mean, I think, uh, from what Frank told me and everything, you guys are like semi-famous. I mean, you guys know, uh, 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 Jefferson Airplane or Jefferson Starship. I mean, you you guys know the rock stars, man. That's an impressive. Well, I I know of them and I do own albums by them, but I have not met Jefferson Starship. Oh, okay. I thought you did. <laughs> I, I would certainly love to meet the Jefferson Starship yeah, thought, and or Je- Jefferson yeah. Airplane. I saw Hot Tuna though, so uh, right, right. Okay, very good. Well, you're probably being very modest because uh, I heard that you know those people. <laughs> yeah. are you, are, 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 okay, are, are, uh, you know. You, if you say so, I, I don't think I've ever met anyone from Jefferson Airplane, but I did see Hot Tuna live though once in all Texas. Right. All right, I was just uh, I was just curious. Don't 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 be holding down because if you know rock stars, I want to be hooked up, okay, immediately. Okay, and let me let me tell you, if you know rock stars, I want to be hooked up immediately too. Okay, I will. So I will. Whatever, what goes around comes around. Oh, I mean, absolutely. Not body parts. Right now, yeah. Well, actually, right now, just take Facebook and uh, and your and your uh, a luscious crowd out there of. of uh, of uh, what would you say your crowd uh, fans are diverse, right? Hipsters, dipsters, and regular rock. I mean, just just all kinds of different people you would have, right? We, we, That's we, a genre. We take the wretched refuse from anywhere. All right, I want to talk about that in a second. Uh, you have to excuse me for a second. I'm going to be coughing. <laughs> I'm actually sick today. <laughs> um, and I was uh, thinking of just doing the show just for an hour. Because I have a lot of congestion and uh, I feel it's like tired. I got a touch of Legionnaires' disease, so I'm not feeling too well either. Yeah, Legionnaires. Well, anyway, um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play this song that uh, Frank likes it a lot, and uh, it's called "The uh, Slip of the Noose." Did I say that correctly? Slip of the nip. You playing our song? Yeah, I'm gonna do oh, it right slip now. Of the nip. Slip of the nip. I thought slip of the noose. Slip of the Nip. Yeah, of the Nip. Album, Hot Honey Liquor. It just came out uh, 2015. It's on iTunes and Spotify and Amazon. I'm going to play it right now. Frank likes it. And, uh, I mean, I, 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 I definitely need you as this English teacher because I, I have a slight speech and impediment. I hear that. That's cool. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this song uh, and uh, a slip of the noose, right? Slip of the nip, slip of the nip. Oh, the nip. You know what? I'm going to fire my own self and get somebody else in here. You do a much better job than I can. Yeah, it rhymes. Slip of the nip. Yeah, slip of the nip. When uh, Janet Jackson, uh, was that was that song influenced by that incident? Uh, that, and, you, know, uh, you know, I guess it's every, every male's fantasy kind of a thing. They, they, we, all, we, we always want to catch a slip of the nip. Okay. Except when it's grandma. Okay. 
Well, here we go here on the Crazy Joe Show live, baby, live. This ain't no recording. That's why things get a little screwed up around here, especially with my pronunciation of words. Slip of the nip. I got it good. And here we go on the Crazy Joe Show. That's Ow. it. Yeah, Steel Wolf. Okay, that was a uh, slip of the nip. See, I'm getting it there, uh, Barky Boy. Slip of the nip, that's right. Second song on the new album, Hot Honey Liquor. And you know Steel what? I- Wolf, available on iTunes, Amazon, and Spotify. Say that again because I almost interrupted you. Please, one more time. It's, a, it's The name of the album is Hot Honey Liquor. It's, uh, it's available at iTunes. You can, uh, you can stream it on Spotify, or you can buy the album uh, CD at Amazon.com. You know what I noticed about you, Mark? You got a good radio voice. You want to be on the well, Crazy Joe so Show? You want to be on the Crazy Joe Show? You got to commute all the way up here to Poughkeepsie, though. Uh, I would love to. You know, yeah. if, if uh, life yeah. brings me that way, I certainly would. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Very good. Now, you have a very good radio voice, you know? Thank you. Yeah. You ever, and yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, so, I want to notice one thing in that song that uh, is very, very... Uh, interesting to me, and um, and tell me if I'm right or wrong on this, but what I like about that song, and I was breaking it down in my head, there was this guitar riff in there um, that sounded there was like there was like actually an influence of Maiden there. Now, do you agree with that? Uh, I would, I would, I you know, Maiden is definitely one of the bands that we were influenced by, so I take that as a compliment. So, yeah, well. It's better to take that as a compliment than a pie in the face, right? <laughs> uh, that was pretty good. So, um, so anyway, that's what I noticed in that. that I mean, that was a that was some riff there, boy. That really reminded me of Maiden. I, I'm not I'm not kidding you. I'm that's not kidding. Right. You. If, 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 you, if our song reminded you of Iron Maiden, then we're doing the right thing. That that, that yeah that 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 break, but you're like you know whatever you were doing there. Cool, cool. Well, that's cool. My guitarist will definitely love hearing that uh, you heard his Iron Maiden uh, influence, uh, the Dave Murray, uh, 
and uh, Adrian Smith uh, yeah. and, uh, and Dennis Stratton influence there. Absolutely, my friend. And um, so I definitely do that. So I want to I want to get to another song here. I I, I chose this one. I mean, I I, I probably could have chose whatever. But this one I, I, I definitely chose, and I want to get to this second one here before we uh, conclude the, um, the interview. And, uh, cool. and I think that the uh, Crazy Joe Show uh, audience uh, definitely agrees with that. What do you think? Uh, how about a round of applause? Huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 Uh, Woo! Hey, did you, where, did you, uh, where did you get the album from, if I may ask? Uh, what album? No, how did you get, where did you get the copy of Hot Honey Liquor? Uh, do Frank. Do Frank, cool. Yeah, he's he's my unofficial executive producer, so he gets me all, all right, this and stuff. He knows Rich. That's the guy who uh, I, I guess I have to give a shout out to Rich Noronas because he knows Frank and Rich he's the guy who introduced me to the show, and I'm so glad that he did. So thank you, Rich Noronas. Yes, Noronas. That's Rich Noronas. Cabrones. He's the brother of our <laughs> the guitar player who currently is on hiatus. Uh, well, I, okay, well, uh, we'll have to talk uh, off the air what I just said, uh, you know, cabrones. Uh, if anybody out there knows Spanish, they know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, sorry. But it's a very sexy name, though. I, I like the guy's name. He must be, he must be, an honor, he must be Spanish, right? No, he's Lithuanian. As oh. I'm Lithuanian. In fact, most of the band members are Lithuanian. Right. That's where we took our band name from. Uh, Steel Wolf. Uh, the, in Lithuanian history, there's a uh, it's actually an Iron Wolf in Lithuanian history that stands on a uh, on a on a hill, and that's where they uh, this. Uh, Get a minute, this leader decided to build the capital city of Lithuania. So we took the name from that, and we were uh, we were toying with the name Iron Wolf, but then we realized we were uh, we were we actually played heavier metal, so we uh, changed it from iron to steel. Right now, Lithuania is not near Serbia, is it? When it had all those uh, conflicts over there, are they? No, no. This is uh, just just east of Poland, uh, and, oh. and uh, you know that that it's east Europe, Eastern Europe. Okay, very good. Now, I didn't want to see you guys get hurt. I figured you guys go over there with the AK forty seven and the kabasi and go over there and kick their ass. You know. No, no. We we, we got our kabasis uh, safe between our legs. Very good. That's where it. Uh, well, yeah. That's where the kabasi should be. All right. So right. listen, I'm going to move on here. I'm going to play this other song for you, uh, real quick here, and then we're going to wrap this up a little bit and. Um, it is called. Sun I call it Sunday morning. Well, that's uh, this is this is uh, this is a uh, acoustic song. Sunday morning. Where's the Krupnikas? Krupnikas is hot honey liquor. It's the Lithuanian, uh, uh, like a homemade Lithuanian, uh, like a, a moonshine. Then uh, it's made with honey and grain alcohol. Yeah. And it's called Krupnikas, but in English it would be translated more or less to uh, hot honey liquor. Yeah. So uh, this is about uh, drinking on Sunday morning. Well, what I like about it, I think it's a good old beer song or a good drinking song that everybody's got their mugs in the air and they're kind of going like this back and forth and, you know, kind of like celebrating life. So I, I really dig the song. I think it's kind of funny in a way, too. I like it. Thank you. We've, we've performed it live a few times uh, and for uh, with, like unplugged sets, and it gets a really good reaction. Well, let's play it right now on the Crazy Joe Show. Uh, crazy, see, I can't even talk. I'm so excited about this song. Crazy Joe Show. Here it is. Steel Wolf. And uh, I call it Sunday morning. I can't talk Lithuanian, so I can't say where's the Kraluskas or the Karinskis or the uh, uh, whatever it is. But uh, Kraknikas. Yeah, Kraknikas. See, I can speak a little European too when I get pissed off. All right, here it is, man. I like this song. Let's play it. I like it. Thank you. All right. Yeah. We're waiting for it here. Just a few seconds. Straight stiff shot starts the weekend off right. One or two leaders get us through each night. When it's all done, our heads will ache. Our butts may run, our hands will shake. Yet we as one won't take a break. Cause we're tied to a higher stake Sunday morning Sunday morning Sunday morning Pour around, leave the bottle When it's all done 
Our butts may run, our hands will shake Yet we as one won't take a break Cause we're tied to a higher stake Sunday morning Where's the club that got Sunday morning Where's the club that got Sunday morning Where's the club that got now A triple shot starts the weekend off Wow. Oh my lord. I I you know something? I got I I got to be honest with you. And I think the uh, studio audience in the Crazy Joe show <laughs> definitely agrees. That is a great That is a great beer drinking uh drink song and I would love to get drunk with you guys at your gig and not get drunk, but I would like to have a drink. And I'd like to play that song. I want to be on the stage or I want to be somewhere. And I just want to like go back and forth with my mug or my drink and have everybody do the same thing. I don't know if you guys will let me do that. Well, we, we just did it acoustically. We did, we did an unplugged show uh, March 14th in, uh, in Long Island. And the, the crowd reaction was just as you uh, kind of speak of. They were all uh, yeah. shouting out, pour around, leave the bottle, and... Uh, Drinking along, the whole place was packed, and uh, they were having a great time. So definitely, you would be in good company uh, if you uh, came down and did that at our show uh, yeah. on April eighteenth. Yeah, absolutely. I like to go up there, and I like to, you know, just like I, I just want to be the cheerleader. You know what I mean? Oh, Joe, we'd love to have you at our show, man. Thank you, thank you, and you're very handsome, by the way, very sexy man. Thank you, and, I, and I, from, I, I've seen your picture on the internet, and uh, <laughs> same to you. You must get a lot of poontang. Now, tell me about uh, the poontang. Um, uh, when you uh, now, are you married? Do you have a girlfriend? Oh, I'm married, and I, oh, okay. I, I, I and I have, and I get plenty of poontang right there. That I, I'm, right. I'm uh, one one woman man. Tomorrow, tomorrow is actually my twenty second uh, wedding anniversary. Any wedding anniversary? No kidding. Yes. Twenty two years. 22, yes, 2-2. Two, two. Wow. That's great. You know, hey, all right. The audience really appreciates that. We do have a little studio audience here, and uh, they really appreciate that. So the other members, are they married too? Uh, uh, one is single, one is divorced, one is uh, married and not married. So half, half are married. Now I want to I want to interview them one day. I want to know about Pung Tang because I want to know what it is to be a, a a musician these days. Are you are these two guys getting a lot when they come off the stage? Are there women waiting for them on the side? I mean, are they hooking up? That's what I want to know. Uh, 
They they do all right. I mean, I I, I don't you know uh, I wouldn't I w- I'm not I, I don't know. I, I guess they do all right. I would say. You know, all right. I, I, it's not, I don't think it's quite the debauchery, the debauchery we've heard about, uh, yeah. like with Led Zeppelin in the seventies and stuff. No, no, no. But, I wasn't. Uh, yeah. I, I think they can hold their own, and they uh, they're satisfied men. Let's say. No, no. But what I'm trying to find out here specifically is like when they come off the stage in any gigs that they score. I want these guys. I want one of your guys to call me next Tuesday. At uh, now, I think I have a. Um, interview with another band but um perhaps tuesday or thursday of next week i want one of your members to call me because uh i i'm taking um statistics here i'm i'm, I'm doing like a uh, spreadsheet uh, like a notebook here and i just want to know who are the bands i'm dealing with and see if they can uh, hook up old joe over here you know what i mean okay all right so is that fair enough so have one of your guys call me your single guy i want him to call me okay all right all right Sure. All right. We can call in again. We'd love to call in again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have one of your single guys because I just want to ask him that kind of question. And you can call in any time you want. And I'm sure you have like, like, wow, you probably have a nice big fan base. I mean, you guys, you say you've been together since '82, right? Yes, yeah, since '82. But uh, yeah, I mean, we, we do okay. Well, anyway, I just want to close it by saying it was a pleasure to have you on the show. I hope you didn't take me seriously there in the beginning. You scared me. As your tagline says, this is live, baby, live. Live, baby, live. You see, you got it. Yeah, live, baby, live. It's the Crazy Joe Show. Live, baby, live. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm sure I got my um, uh, unofficial executive producer out there, Mr. Frankie, smiling from ear to ear. Maybe our next interview, I'll be a little bit more civil, okay? Okay, next time, definitely. I'd love to, I'd love to speak again. Thank you. I hope you, uh, you will, and I'd like to have you on the show again at some, somewhere down the road. I want to see the progress of, uh, of your band, uh, Steel Wolf. I, wait, before I go, I just got to say one thing that's bugging me. Your name of your band, Steel Wolf, does sound like an 80s metal band. It doesn't sound well, like a, like a punk rock started. band. So we, that, you know, I said it was from Lithuanian uh, folklore that we took the name, but we definitely went with it because uh, we were we were of the the the, the, the genre. You know, the time at the time, you know, Iron Maiden and Judas Priest and all that stuff was happening, and you know, so that that was what we were listening to a lot ourselves. Okay, I just want to to, to because when I heard the band, I said, and then Frank, you know, told me about. It, I said that's a heavy metal band, you know, and then I heard the music and. Uh, a little bit different than heavy metal, but still very, very good. I mean, uh, I definitely compliment you on those two tracks. I really like them. Thank you. Okay? And you're very handsome and intelligent. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right. Do something for me, man. Give me some groceries over here. I'm, I'm short of groceries. I want some okay. tang. All right. I'll catch you later, man. Have a nice evening and keep Crazy rocking. Joe. Thank you so much. It was really great. This was a great half hour spent with you, man. I really appreciate uh, being on the air with you. And let me just say this. Uh, you and I say it together. I, I, th- I think this is going to be our tag. So, you know, live, baby. So let's say it together. Live. Ready? One. Okay, ready. Ready. One, One two, two, three. three. Live, live, baby. Live. live. <laughs> catch you later, my brother. Okay, Joe. Thank you. All right. God bless. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. All right. All right, that was uh, Steel Wolf, and a nice round of applause for the great band Steel Wolf out there, which had a uh, a band name of heavy metal. And, I, and then when I heard their music, I was like freaked out because they stay. You know, I said this doesn't sound like heavy metal, you know. But that song, you know, Slip of the Nip. Which I'm getting right all the time. I'm probably gonna go tonight and go slipping the nip, slipping the nip, slipping the nip. You know, was I heard Maiden in that? So.